Welcome to Live a Better Life Tarot channel. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Your donations are welcome and appreciated. If you are new to my channel, please watch the featured video. It should shed some light on my approach and the way I do my readings. Check out the Soulful Revolution channel. Mary Jo, the owner of that channel, was my inspiration to start this channel. I would have never had the courage to do it if it wasn't for her. The video you are about to watch cannot and will not resonate with everybody. However, if it does, I hope it helps you live a better life one way or the other. Let's begin. Hi Libra, this is your monthly April 2020 tarot reading. Let's talk about your current job or current business situation first. We've got the Page of Cups, the Seven of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles and the Tower on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. So yeah, you're either dealing with that Earth sign or this is a business partner or a colleague at work. And uh, the bad news is they will uh, try to lure you into something, um, some kind of a deception. They may offer you to do something and that will either be illegal or against the company policy, against the company rules that you work for. And uh, it will look very uh, appealing, but uh, the good news is now that you're aware of that, please do not fall for it. Tell them no. Like I said, somebody is coming in trying to get you to do something for them, which could be either illegal or against company policy, but um, make sure you say no. Libra, if you're looking for a new job or a new business adventure in April, this spread is for you. We've got Judgment, Temperance and The Fool. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, this is actually um, someone or a company that you've uh, dealt with before, a company that you've worked for in the past. So they could be reaching out to you and asking you to go back and work for them or work with them right and uh, the advice here for you is don't jump right in and pre tell them that you're not really sure perhaps they'll be able to give you more money and once that happens uh, I think it is safe for you to go back to that workplace or to uh, make another contract with that company and uh, we have the full right right here and this is a card of a new beginning a card of uh, taking a leap of faith so somebody or some company is coming back from the past, they'll offer you to work with them again and uh, after some sort of negotiation, I think it'll be safe for you to uh, go back and uh, re-establish this uh, partnership or relationship with this company. Libra, if you're in an established love relationship such as marriage or a long-term partnership, this spread is for you. We've got the Four of Cups, the Chariot, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Hierophant. You could be dealing with a Cancer or a Taurus. So I can interpret this um, two different ways, but um, they're in a way similar. They're all revolving around some kind of a rejection. So the difference is whether the rejection happened in the past or is about to happen. So if there was a rejection in the past, and um, I would never know what kind of a rejection it was, uh, whoever was rejected is going to try to make the same offer again. Perhaps they'll sweeten the deal, so to speak. And uh, it'll be up to you whether you want to move forward with it or not. Right? Um, another way to interpret this is one of you is going to make an offer to the other person person involved and this offer will get rejected and uh, this offer could be regarding a vehicle this offer could be regarding a trip or this could be some sort of a financial offer because the Knight of Pentacles is about finances it's about abundance it's about um, something you can touch right so this offer will be unfortunately rejected one word of wisdom here is the Four of Cups could be symbolizing a missed opportunity. 
So if this offer is presented to you, think about it before you reject it. Perhaps there is something there for you and, uh, you know, we get into relationships and we get into marriages for a reason, right? So perhaps if you trusted this person to get involved with in the past, perhaps this person, you know, is worth at least your attention, whatever offer they are making this month. I was asking for a new love Libra, but I think this is an X spread. Um, it doesn't have to be the most recent X. It could be somebody from two months ago, a year ago, or five years ago. Let's take a look. We've got Judgment, the Two of Swords, Justice, and the Queen of Pentacles. You could be dealing with another Libra, or an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So, um, yeah, something is trying to get back into your good graces. Somebody is trying to reconcile with you. It will most likely be that Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Or this is just somebody who is very grounded, who is good with their finances. And when this person does make a reappearance, uh, you are not going to be open to this uh, offer to reconcile. We've got the Two of Swords card. See, that's the card with the person closed off and that's the way you're going to be. You will most likely reject the offer and justice will be served. Libra, I decided to do um, an X spread anyway just to make sure that I got it right and I think I did. Uh, we've got the uh, Three of Swords, the Four of Swords, the Six of Pentacles and the Empress. Um, if somebody comes back from the past trying to uh, rekindle this relationship with you, you are not going to be open to it. Um, uh, your heart was broken by this particular ex and you're not going to be very receptive of this offer. I think you come off as the empress in this spread, male or female, doesn't really matter. This is a person who is uh, self-sufficient, who is abundant, and who doesn't really need anybody at this point of their life. Perhaps you're trying to uh, balance out your life or in uh, other ways. Uh, you could be working on something. Uh, but the main point here is you're not open to this uh, particular X. Let's talk about an advice or a word of wisdom for you, Libra, for April. We've got the Knight of Wands, the Ace of Wands, the World, and the Star. You could be dealing with a younger fire sign, Aries, uh, Leo, or Sagittarius, or an Aquarius. But I think the uh, idea here is if you've been uh, wishing for something for a while, and if an opportunity presents itself to... Uh, acquire this or to conquer this or to get this done I think you should go for it don't be rushing into it think about it first and um, think about the consequences but the uh, cards are suggesting that you have the green light to go for it we've got the knight of wands and the ace of wands right the ace of wands is a card of a new passionate beginning or this could be about work and the Knight of Wands is somebody who is uh, going forward, very fiery and passionate. So like I said, if there has been something you've been wishing for and if an opportunity presents itself, grab it. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.